Hey everybody, David here, and this is another really fast, easy, and simple tutorial on how to import tokens into your Fantasy Grounds games. Now, if you're a new user, this is going to be a perfect video for you, and if you're a solid veteran of the system, you already know how to do this. So, there's multiple ways to import tokens and portraits into Fantasy Grounds. The first way is by just simply starting up the program and in the top right hand corner you are going to see that there is a data folder. When you click on that data folder, this, these are all of the folders that are in the Fantasy Grounds and comprise of the Fantasy Grounds program. You're going to want to look for two in particular. The first one you're going to look for is the portraits folder. Now when you click on the portraits folder, this is where you put all of the portraits that you want to import into your folder. Now sometimes you'll see some weird files. Don't mess with those. Those are usually purchases from the store if you make any from there. So there could be some weird files. Don't do anything with them. Uh, those are from the Fantasy Grounds store. Now to put tokens into the game, you just cl simply click on the tokens folder and then you're going to see two folders. You're going to see a host and a shared. The host folder is for your eyes only basically and the shared folder is for any tokens that you don't mind players having access to. So there's the ways on how to import tokens and portraits in Fantasy Grounds while you don't have the program running. Okay, so you're already in Fantasy Grounds and now you want to upload some tokens that way. Very simple. Bottom right hand corner of the Fantasy Grounds interface you're going to see that there's a token button. Now click on that token button. You're going to see bags. All of these bags here are either created from you or bags of tokens that you had purchased from the Fantasy Grounds store. Now on the bottom of the token interface you're going to see that there are four buttons. The first button is the store button so that has access to the Fantasy Grounds store. The second button is the module button. Now when you click on the module button, this is going to have all kinds of free tokens given to you by Fantasy Grounds. I mean, there's I think there's eight packs. And guys, these are really nice tokens. They have pogs, and then they have clear PNG tokens, like the ones that Devon Knight makes. And this is also where anytime you buy a module from Fantasy Grounds, or if you you know import one into the modules folder, then they'll also appear here. And then all you have to do, guys, is just activate them. Just if you want to, you know, have the animal pogs here, just open up that book. And now you'll have access to all those animal pogs. It's simple as that. So a lot of people, they forget about this token module activation. I've had a lot of people say, hey man, I've bought modules and I don't even have tokens. But that's so there you go. That's that's how you activate those. Now the other the third button is going to be the shared button. This is going to take you right back to where we were before we started the program up. And that is where you can put all of the shared tokens that you don't mind the player seeing. And lastly, the GM folder. These are for your eyes older only. And you can uh, also click on that. You can make new folders, all that good stuff. So there you go, everybody. That is how you upload tokens and portraits into your Fantasy Grounds game. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. Also, if you like the video, please like it, share it. Happy gaming!